Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Caddy and I am here for another process video for the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. Uh, Spiegel Mom Scraps uh, is a store and I am a design team member for the store. If you guys have not had a chance to check it out, I will have a link to it below. If you use my code, which is Caddy15, you get 15% off your order. So if you have uh, been wanting to try any of these products, um, then definitely go and check out the store. So uh, for this week, I'm going to create a layout and I'm going to begin with this stencil. This is a stencil by um, the Crafters Workshop. It's by Rhonda Palazzari and it's called Switchback. And it's a really fun stencil. What I did is I kind of divided it into sections just so that my colors wouldn't mix. Um, and I am just using my Shimmers Texture Paste, the Dazzlers. Uh, so this is the shimmery texture paste and the first one I use is the, um, the see you in the morning which is that beautiful like turquoise color um, then I use the uh, yellow which is lemon drop one of my favorites and this green one is called sour apple so these are gorgeous they're shimmery just beautiful beautiful texture paste so I wanted to create some different colors, so I just take this, uh, the See You in the Morning, which is the first one I use at the top, and I add a little bit of acrylic paint. You can see I just added a little bit. And it's acrylic paint by Apple Barrel, which I get at Walmart, and it's called Real Navy. And then you can see that it completely changed the color of it. So this is something you can definitely do if you don't have a lot of shimmers, you can kind of make your own color. And I did add that uh, acrylic paint and it still was shimmery. Now for this color, I wanted to get a darker navy color. So I do add a lot more acrylic paint. Now when I add a lot more acrylic paint, that means I get um, sort of a water runny uh, consistency. So I did add some modeling paste to that just to make it a little bit thicker. And then I keep adding just the navy uh, color until I'm happy with the color that I get. So that's the navy. Now this one is not shimmery anymore because I did add the modeling paste. So this uh, navy blue is not shimmery, but I'm okay with that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the strips of color and I'm going to cut the individual little squares. Because if you can kind of get past the swirls in the pattern, there are individual little squares. So I've cut them out and I kind of saved you or spared you <laughs> from watching me um, kind of place these and decide how I wanted them to go. So, cause it did take me a while. So I decided on this um, sort of triangle or not triangle, sort of um, diamond like design, I guess. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's not even a shape. <laughs> it's just the way that I kind of placed them and I liked them and I adhered them all down. So I did um, go ahead and pop up the navy blue ones. So I did pop those up and all the other ones I just stuck down with my regular uh, tape glider, uh, which is the uh, one from the shop. It's the um, easy runner, which I have right there to my right. So uh, here I adhered those down. I took this piece of paper, this yellow piece of paper, which is from the um, Studio Calico Lemon Lush collection. It's just yellow with polka dots, and I'm going to use that to mat the whole uh, layout. So I'm going to do that. And then these are the three photos I am scrapbooking. Uh, they are photos of my boys. The uh, It's just one of them, two together, and then one of each individually. So I took these not too long ago, um, and I trimmed down the one of my older son, and then I just added a piece of white cardstock because you can see my, my photos have a white border all around them. That's just how I print them. So um, I did go ahead and add a white um, little piece of cardstock to continue that border. So I was going to put them down with um, foam mounting tape, but I did decide to mat them on um, dark gray cardstock. So I'm going to remove that <laughs> and take off those foam strips. And then here comes my son with some popcorn. He's coming. Just a minute. He's coming. Maybe not yet, but <laughs> he's coming. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he brought me some popcorn. Um, so he did bring me popcorn, and you can see one of my uh, little foam strips is missing. So I was, you know, kind of looking around for it, and then I realized it was underneath the bowl <laughs> of popcorn. <laughs> Sometimes things go missing in our craft desk, don't they? And they end up in the weirdest places. So yeah, so my foam adhesive... Um, 
strip was underneath my popcorn bowl. So, <laughs> so um, I'm going to use these arrows. These are from the shop, from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. And these are the cork um, chevrons. So I love these. These are awesome. I love anything cork. And these I just adore. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to use them. And I'm also eating my popcorn. Or I ate my popcorn. <laughs> so I came back and I decided to use them on either side just like that of the layout and I'm gonna pop up one of them uh, or one from each side on foam mounting tape I'm just gonna cut little thin strips of the foam mounting tape and pop up one of the little chevrons on either side so um, I do go ahead and add that to uh, to the layout so here I am just mounting that and uh, popping that up and then the rest of the chevrons I will add with just some regular uh, tape from the tape glider so I just add some um, some tape to that and they stick very well with that so here I go I popped up the center one there on the left hand side and I really love this cork I really I love anything cork so these are awesome so yeah, and if you guys have not had a chance to check out the shop, make sure you guys go and check out Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. It's such an awesome um, shop. Jody, the owner, she's amazing. And she just, she gets new products in all the time and um, she has a ton of the shimmers products, which are awesome. Um, she has these uh, shimmer paste, she has the mist, uh, she has a ton of beautiful sequin mixes that you guys can get. So uh, definitely check it out and uh, if you use my code you get a nice little discount. So it's nice uh, to get to try out some products and get a nice discount while you're at it. So uh, definitely check her out. So I uh, did add these um, these uh, navy enamel dots and I will take those off. Um, I decided to do something else with enamel dots which you'll see in a minute. <laughs> Um, I'm looking through kind of my thickers and trying to figure out what I want to use as my title. So um, I decide um, to go after looking through several different ones. Um, I was going to use these. These are the Amy Tangerine ones from, um, geez, what is that collection? Finders Keepers. Um, and then I was going to write out, and then I thought about writing out You and Me, or Me and You, but I didn't really like that title. Um, I don't know. I just didn't like it. <laughs> thought about moving it over to the side and then those stickers were kind of getting lost with that background that's why I kind of thought about adding them off to the side because they were kind of getting lost in there but uh, ultimately I left the date on there well the year the 2016 but I am going to use these which are the Heidi Swap um, their glitter foam thickers so I was going to title it Brothers but then I remembered I have a layout titled Brothers so I'm going to title it Brotherly Love. So I just add my title, Brotherly Love, and I kind of just adjust it to where I'm happy with it and just move things around <laughs> right back to where it was. And then I'm just adjusting that Brotherly up there. And that's going to be my title. And I really like those navy thickers. Um, I really like how those look on there. So the last thing I'm going to do on this layout, I'm going to remove these enamel dots these are basic gray ones and i'm going to remove them so i'm going to add my own homemade enamel dots the ones that i made when i uh, melted perler beads um so i'm going to use those and i'm just going to place them on top of the coordinating color so blue on blue um green on green yellow on yellow so on and so forth and i'm going to adhere those down with blue dots so blue dots are the way to go for these and for sequins too if you want to add any sequins to your layout so um, I'm going to adhere those in the coordinating colors and that is going to complete my layout. So I do want to thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Uh, please leave any comments or questions that you may have below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe for more videos. And I will be back soon with another project. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.